Hi there, cool friends. It's me once again, Marl Beth, and welcome to my channel. One of the dilemmas of uh, billiard players, specifically beginners and intermediate, is throwing shots. Sometimes, like for me, I speak for myself, when I was starting last year, August, I tend to avoid drawing shots because I'm afraid that I might be embarrassed, or uh, might jump the white ball off the table or off the object ball. But in today's session, we are going to learn the easiest and simplest way how to draw shots. So first step is to put at least five uh, balls into the pocket by hitting below center. Now this is the fundamental of drawing shots uh, I've discovered when I was playing. Uh, theories from YouTube, they are good, but if you don't put it into practice and you don't have the muscle memory, I think it would be futile. Uh, it would be of use. So once you watch this video, jump into the pool table right away and start practicing. After hitting below center, uh, all those cue balls as many as possible. It's more of establishing your fundamental and hitting draw shots. It's very important that you uh, have that muscle memory. Because this is what you are going to be doing in most of the draw shots. Now the second step is to make at least three stun shots. Three stun shots is just a tip away from the center ball. And not uh, two or three tips away from the center ball. Uh, my mistake, it's not stun shot, it's supposed to be stop shot. Let's go to the third step, it is to hit the white ball as if you are in step 1, hitting it below center towards the object ball. So we're trying here with a very minimal or short distance, it's like one foot. Please try to observe the fundamental like stance, pre-shot routine, and the your delivery of stroke. Don't jolt it, you stroke it. Don't mind of the draw shot. Don't think of drawing the shot. Think of uh, the step one you made, hitting the white ball below center, at least two tips away from the center below. Try to shoot the white ball into the pocket and don't mind of the object ball. Then you'll be surprised that you're starting to draw shots a little bit. When you're done with the one foot, now try two and half feet distance. Don't think of the draw shot again. Think of the sh think of shooting the white ball into the pocket. Now let's go a little bit further to 3 feet and again, don't think of shooting the draw shot. Just shoot the white ball into the pocket. 
Now don't mind if a little bit your sh shot goes to the left or right. It's pretty normal for beginners to experience that. As you go along the way and you master the draw shot, you begin to have that uh, straight uh, stroke and straight drawing back direction. Now the first three steps, you try to master that in, uh, I think in one week, then you, when you master it, you go a little bit further to four feet so again may I remind you that do not jolt the shot drawing shot is all about technique and not by force so you won't miss cue because sometimes if you force the shot you're missing shooting the object ball so here I'm trying to shoot the ball at 4 feet away that's I think for intermediate players already now here as you can see I'm at attempting to do almost a 6 feet shot 6 feet shot I think I had like 5 attempts that I failed drawing shots I I did some stun shots, we were able to pocket the ball, but that is not, uh, that's not the result that I'm expecting. So, might have some success as I go along. Try to be patient in everything that you do, especially in, in billiards. You have to have tons of patience here when you practice. Just don't give up and keep trying. So the good thing, good thing here is that um, there are a lot of generous guys out there who are sharing their knowledge. I would like to thank them. Uh, I've been watching them. I, I subscribe to them and uh, try to learn from them also. They're great guys. I Hats off for you guys and two thumbs up. You are a great inspiration to us beginners. And I commend you guys. Everything that I've learned in the past five months is um, because of their techniques that they are sharing. Now I'm learning and trying to also share whatever I learned and discovered uh, by myself so that I can bring back also the blessing to others. Now some reminders here uh, regarding this clip. First is you observe your fundamentals because uh, without the proper pre-stroke, without the proper eye alignment and uh, basic fundamentals you have difficulties in growth not also difficulty in uh, pocketing easy shots number two is chalk all the time avoid miscues and uh, for better grip of the q-tip white ball so that it would uh, have the right physics in drawing shots you always chalk all the time before doing any shot third is do not jolt your shot but instead do a stroke jolting is different from striking the ball okay you cannot draw shots merely by force it's more of a technique number four always think of step one remember step one you're hitting ball two tips away not too low for it will jump two tips away from the center and uh, see if you're trying to pocket that ball so always think of that you'll have always success in drawing shots and number five most importantly is have lots of patience okay you cannot do this overnight sometimes uh, you can draw shots and sometimes you can't you will fail but that's normal that's you're going through the process but if you have the right muscle memory and uh, enough practice it will uh, drawing shots would be an ease for you so I hope you learned something today from this video. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe in my channel and please like this video if it is of help to you. So thank you very much for watching.